cases BC police say they have ever investigated. One year ago today, police say a Chinese woman in Surrey, B.C. was brutally beaten to death. Investigators say it is one of the strangest cases they've ever seen. Their investigation has revealed the victim worked for a self-improvement organization. As Jeff Semple reports, the case is raising questions about the secretive company and its activities in Canada. Joe Clementi doesn't typically see many people on his drive to work. He lives on B.C.'s secluded Salt Spring Island between Vancouver and Victoria. It is kind of like a little sleepy hollow. But one afternoon in 2018, Clementi's commute took a strange turn. He spotted dozens of Asian men and women marching down this rural road in military uniforms. I actually couldn't believe it, and I'm glad I had my camera on Salt Spring Island. Clementi uploaded this video to his YouTube channel, where he typically posts videos of his garden. And around this time last year, the footage caught the attention of the RCMP. This case has to rank as one of the most atypical, strange. Just down the road from where the video was recorded is this seaside resort, owned by a company called Create Abundance, also known as Golden Touch. The so-called self-improvement organization claims to promote spiritual and financial prosperity. Its leaders own several high-end properties in BC, including this one in Surrey. And on June 17th last year, it became a crime scene after one of Golden Touch's employees was murdered. Her injuries were so extensive. There was a comment at the beginning of the investigation whether, you know, was she hit by a car? The victim, Bo Fan, had moved to BC from China in 2019 and helped to organize company events. Police say the 41-year-old was brutally beaten, found clinging to life not far from the clubhouse, where Golden Touch had just hosted a party. The company, which started in China, set up shop in Canada around 2014. Chinese authorities say the organization was previously linked to dozens of pyramid schemes in China and have likened it to a cult. Social media posts show its members attending spiritual seminars and classes in BC, some of which reportedly cost tens of thousands of dollars to attend. Members also appear in military uniforms, posing with what appear to be restricted, even prohibited, firearms. It is not acceptable in Canada in 2021 for groups to organize themselves in camouflage outfits with weapons prohibited or not trying to operate in secret. No one from Golden Touch has responded to numerous interview requests, and police say they found no evidence to implicate the organization in Fan's murder. But investigators believe that link is important. Jeff Semple, Global News, Toronto. For more on this, you can listen to Global's new podcast, China Rising. The episode on Golden Touch will be available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. A digital media outlet.